From the saving of life to the saving of bacon, this cosy place, looking rather like a holiday camp, caters exclusively for pigs. So do some others, you say? But these, as you can see, are the four-legged variety. Well-proportioned, unselfish creatures dedicated only to the production of more and better bacon. Situated at Stoke Mandeville in Buckinghamshire, this pig research centre is concerned with breeding the pig liable to be voted the most popular with breeder, wholesaler, retailer and finally a customer. Notice that to make sure of fair shares, individual troughs are supplied. Pigs are very carefully protected here, and as you'll see, some even have sleeping quarters above ground level to protect them from drafts. Because the colder they get, the more they eat, the more they eat, the fatter they get, and an overfat pig does not fetch a good price. Careful there, the steps are a bit slippery. Oh well. As a matter of interest, when litters are reared in the traditional manner, at a rate of two litters of eight to each sow, the piglet's average weight is 38 to 40 pounds after eight weeks. These little piggies, they're all going to market eventually, were weaned at eight days, and after eight weeks, they will weigh more than those who stayed at home with mother, which must be a bit of a slap in the eye for dear old mum. As the amount of back fat is a very important factor, special equipment has been devised to measure it. The old method of grabbing the pig firmly and sticking pins in it was both difficult and noisy. This modern method is rather like ASDIC, the wartime submarine detecting equipment. It emits a very high-pitched note through the fat. This bounces back from the flesh and painlessly registers the exact amount of fat. The experts here say that the perfect pig does not exist. They are constantly seeking to improve the breed. And another thing, pigs are not dirty. See?